<laughs> Dearly beloved, that's my line. I can take it from here. Thanks. <laughs> Dearly beloved, I'm sorry I'm a little late. You may be confused by this now, but you won't be Memorial Day weekend 2002. Well, let's get started before the groom takes off again, huh? <laughs> okay. We are gathered here today to join this man and this woman in the bonds of holy matrimony. I've known Monica and Chandler for a long time, and I cannot imagine two people more perfect for each other. And now, as I've left my notes in my dressing room, <laughs> we shall proceed to the vows. Monica? He took off? Go on, go on. <laughs> Chandler, for so long, I, I wondered if I would ever find my prince, my soulmate. Then three years ago, at another wedding, I turned to a friend for comfort. And instead, I found everything that I'd ever been looking for my whole life. And now, here we are, with our future before us. And I only want to spend it with you. My prince, my soulmate, my friend. Unless you don't want to. <laughs> you go. Chandler? Uh, that's okay. <laughs> Monica, I thought this was going to be the most difficult thing I ever had to do. But when I saw you walking down that aisle, I realized how simple it was. I love you. Any surprises that come our way, it's okay because I will always love you. You are the person I was meant to spend the rest of my life with. You want to know if I'm sure? You uh, may now kiss the bride. <laughs> so, I guess by the powers vested in me by the state of New York, and the internet guys. <laughs> I now pronounce you husband and wife. Oh, wait. Do you take each other? I do. I do. Yeah, you do. <laughs> rings? Oh, crap. Okay. Um, uh, uh, let's do the rings. We good? Yeah, good. <laughs> Once again, I pronounce you husband and wife. Now kiss her again. 